Nikki Becker, El D'Angelo here for Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous. And today, I'm going to be bringing to you just a little brief, well, it's not brief at all, it's going to be a long video. And I hope not long-winded, but they have a free flight week, and it's all the starter ships. And a lot of you have starter ships, most of you have Auroras. But this week, you could fly all models of all types of the starter ships, except for, of course, the upcoming Reliant. So I have three of the starter ships right over here, and uh, they're all of the Mustang genre. I have the Gamma over here in the front. Now, this used to be my Mustang Omega, and yes, I know, I've, I've committed a travesty. I uh, upgraded it to the Gamma, and I just... I, I don't know what to say. I never flew the Omega, and I don't know why. And I always flew the Gamma because I had one that was a rec-owned one. And I finally just said, you know what, I'm just going to upgrade mine. And the reason for that was I'm probably not going to fly. I'm, I'm probably not going to race in a Mustang. I'm probably going to race in my M50. So I had that one version, which was the Omega, and I upgraded it to the Gamma, and I'm probably going to use it as a CCU to something else in the future. Not saying I'm not going to use a uh, Mustang in racing, but I think that we will be doing that inside of the Arena Commander module, and since my Omega wasn't LTI, it didn't really matter, so that's why I made it the uh, Gamma. I like the way it looks. I wanted to put it in the hangar for today. And this is something that most of you will be able to get, whereas the Omega is something that was just available for people that bought the AMD package that included it. All right, so beautiful ship, great livery over here. And you will be able to buy different paint jobs as you can with the Auroras right now. And that's something that will be coming later on, probably closer to the 2.0 release as we start seeing more paint jobs for different uh, ships being released. So this is the first one. So if you don't want to have a combat career and you just want to get into the game and have something, or do something that's a little bit more competitive but not destructive, you can grab this ship and you can go out and play to your heart's content over at the New Horizons race course. Pretty gorgeous, isn't it? We move from one gorgeous Mustang on to another. This is the Mustang Beta. It is by far my second favorite ship in my hangar. Um, I don't know if that's true. It's my second favorite Mustang. I love it, and I think it's going to be something I'm just going to dart around the system in looking for asteroids that have certain types of minerals. At least that's what I envision. This is your exploration version of the Mustang. It has a different look to it, a different paint scheme. It does come with the turret where the racing version would not. And it shares that same sci-fi styling. You do have a couple of undermount wing, um, under wing mounts for guns over here. You can uh, put up size twos on them, I believe. And of course the turret. Under here, you access the ship a different way. You actually have to access this hatch underneath. Let's just get to the other side and climb up. Now here's the biggest difference between this Mustang and every other Mustang. As we look forward, we can see the cockpit, but if we turn around, there's a whole little living area back here, which makes it a much more inviting spacecraft for doing exploration than something like the Aurora. Now, the Reliant is going to be built task-specific for science and exploration, but here we have a version of the Mustang that's up to the task. It's got a bathroom, which I can't get into today, and a lot of things weren't working for me the way that they normally do. But you have a bathroom slash shower in there. You have a little kitchenette. You have a sleeping area, and you have a little sitting area with a uh, TV screen on it. I guess that's so you can watch your YouTube videos of your favorite people streaming. Um, Star Citizen, I'm just trying to open this over here. Lots of different places to store things over here. Nice little sitting area, like I said. A little bit too small for a bigger person. I don't know what they were thinking when they built this area like this. Maybe it will change, maybe it won't, but the storage back there, the storage, I'm gonna get this one open over here. 
Um, this is access to the engine, I believe. Just not sure about that. We can close it up. And of course, all different places over here that you can do things and sit and play and have fun. This is by far my favorite Mustang. It's the Mustang Delta. And it's just a rip-roaring fun spacecraft to fly. In the hands of a very experienced pilot, this could be a killer spaceship. Load it with the right weapons. And what I've done here is I've loaded it with two CF-117s um, CF and two M3As. And it seems to be a good package for me. Unlike a lot of other spacecraft in its, um, I guess you could say in its class, like the 325A and the Gladius, it doesn't carry missiles. Instead, it carries dump fire rockets, which of course won't track a target, but should they get in your sight and you connect, they are, they pack a devastating punch and can take out a ship with one or two of them um, having direct hits. I love this ship. It has some kind of optical camouflage on it that lets its uh, visual cross-section be a lot smaller when you're looking at it from a distance. It's not stealth for, per se, but it's a reduced signature, which I guess would be stealth. In other words, what I'm saying is it's not invisible. It's uh, partially visible. As you get up, you do not see back. Um, very dark back there. But you can walk forward, get into this um, cockpit, and you've got yourself a pretty good looking ship over here. I've had some great times in this and we're going to take it out and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to leave the uh, during um, video going on so you can get an idea of what a match is like. It wasn't my best one in this. My best one is always with the uh, my friends at the well inside of our organization, the Enablers. Specifically when I fly with like Colgan or Onion or uh, quite a few other people. Um, let's get into a match and let's pick up where we are flying. That's my little mini hangar review of the Mustang series. I have three of them. I just don't have the Alpha. I'm not really into moving cargo in the, in the starter ships. That's why I got the whole B. It's a little bit smaller um, cargo mover. But anyway, if you want to see how this thing flies, just continue watching and uh, tell me what you think. Now, unlike some of the fighters like the 325A that would be in the same category as this one, a light fighter, light to medium fighter, I should say, you don't really get any missiles with this particular spacecraft. What you do get is dumb fire rockets. And the dumb fire rockets, as I hit my mouse accidentally, the dumb fire rockets do a ton of damage, but obviously they are dumb fire, so they do not track to the target. And I am a HOTUS, stick and HOTUS person, so you may hear some squeaking and I will apologize for that up front. So what we're going to do is we're going to show off some of, oh, we got the wrong option on here. Let's go in here, let's change it to... Yes, I like the lead instead of lag, there we go. Obviously someone just blew somebody up because we are, oh, and they're having tons of lag lately. Look at that one go out and he is dead. So very quickly the four of us have taken out this group of fighters, but we had to uh, take ourselves and put it into one of the most, well, one of the most useful modes for both uh, joystick players and for the keyboard and mouse users. Well, from the ones that I've interviewed, the lead pipper gives you the opportunity to see um, targets where you're going to point the nose at, that center ring. And once you get it on that ring, you can pull your trigger. See right there? All I want to do is point right at that thing right there. Where you've taken him down. And he's dead. Okay, that's not so bad, right? 
So the CF-117s, outside of a little bit of a squeaky... Alright, we've got this guy over here. And we killed him. That was a kill with the... Uh, you, you'll see over in the left-hand side, 3 and 5. I have 16 rockets on each one of those pods. I fired 2 into that guy. Well, 4. I missed with the first one, got him on the second one. All right, there we go. We should have uh, Little King in this one. Let's get closer. All right, so he got Little King. And we've got a couple of guys with us. Alright, we'll go for this guy over here. Ooh, we got him. And you're going to see him disintegrate. Ooh, Torp killed him. That's one of the problems with flying with so many people that you don't know. Too many people hitting the same guy. And we damaged that guy. Probably beyond repair. The damage model is still not up to par on the enemies. I killed him. How about that? I'm probably uh, number three in this one. These guys are just too quick. I think one of them... Oh, see that? Turret. Let's see what he's in. We have another Mustang. Uh, he's in the Hornet. And we have a 325A. Alright, so we have another Mustang, a 325A, and a Hornet. Alright. Let's see who's in the lead. I am... Oh, I'm number two, but far behind Torp, or Tarup. Sorry for the squeaking. I have the X-55, and it's uh, definitely something that could use a little bit of grease. All right, what's going on these guys over here? And we're a little bit faster than the Hornet, same speed as the Mustang, and uh, probably a little bit uh, slower than the 325A. Someone's launching a bunch of missiles early on. One thing I'll tell you is, launching missiles before the Elite rounds, you'll see. Lots of lag when things still blow up. But launching missiles before the Elite rounds is definitely not a good thing, because you should be able to kill things with guns, and... If you're launching missiles early on, you're probably going to die later on. So someone got hit there. And the reason I say that is you should wait and hold on to them for as long as you can to the later rounds. Because you will use them when you need to take on those elites. Like you should never, ever, ever fire off missiles at anybody unless you're desperate inside of round uh, 16, 17, because in 18 you're going to need a ton of them. We got them. Good. And we're coming in on this guy now. And we got him. So we're catching up. We're at 6,017. Okay, we're not catching up at all. <laughs> he actually he probably pulled a little bit ahead of us over there. All right, so that was wave four. Let's get back in here. Let's go and... Test this baby out. With this group, we should get to 18 easy. Okay. So you can start getting hunters inside of wave 5. And hunters are a problem for everybody in this game. Not that they're going to be hard for everybody, but they're a problem being that they're the first ones that are going to start launching missiles at you. They're a little bit harder to take down. So if you focus on the scavengers and not the hunters, you're going to find it hard to... Uh, get through these couple of rounds here and also don't hold down your trigger because if you do you will you will overheat these uh, CF-117s they are uh, prone to overheating like all repeaters are and we are going to be tagging this guy ooh it looks like somebody took out our guy but we get points for every hit that we have, so if we get most of the hits, 
They might get the kill, but you're still going to get some wreck for it. And what's happening here is there's a lot of lag, so... There's a lot of lag in the game, so fear not. It isn't always like this. I think they're having some server issues at this point. Last night when I played with the rest of the enablers, it was kind of weak. Lots of rubber banding. So we're going to come in. And like I said, one of just absolutely one of my favorite ships. So we have the priest now. This is the second elite squad that we get. And we're going to go and see who we are going to be able to latch on to. Now, everyone's going to go for the priest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up my closest hunter over here. And that should help those guys as they go all after the priest, like trying to be the one that gets the the kill on the elite. Okay, so we got one of the hunters. I'm going to skip over one of those scavengers now. Well, um, if he wants to line himself up like that, I don't have a problem. All right, so, man. Okay, we got that one. And we'll go for this one. Oh, we're a good pilot here, aren't we? Okay, so we've got... All right, so he hit us. Um... We probably are a little bit banged up now. Yep, we are. And all these all these uh, ships are going to have better damage models over the next couple of months. Ooh, that is just not good. Remember about boost as you go past people? And I could have pulled off the decouple mode as I'm flying backwards and put it back on again and flown back at them. That is definitely a maneuver to use. And it's something that you might forget about every now and then. Oh, not too very beat up. Now, we got hit in the nose. Let's see if we are. No, nope, we're not that damaged, but our sensors are. And they're starting to model the uh, damage done to your avionics or spacionics, whatever they call it here. So do be careful. At times, you might see that you're... HUD disappears, your target lock-on indicators disappear. I'm doing a lot of testing with that. We're at 10. We are definitely a strong number two in this game. And that's normal for me. I'm not great at this game. I'm okay at this game. All right, let's go. We're going to have to try to take that squeak out of this video somehow. If anybody has a uh, way to keep the squeaking on the X-55 to a minimum, I'd greatly appreciate it. Oh my god, who just hit me? Alright, so something just happened. Alright, so... We got him. Good. And that should be the end of it. Alright, so how are our friends doing here? Noctu probably has had a new ship by now. As we go through, nobody has gotten a new ship. Noctu is pretty beat up. Let's see, Crimson Explorer, doing fine. And Torup, doing great. Okay, so we are doing fine going through the uh, seven levels that we've done. Let's get our first uh, person in lockup right now. So we've got a hunter in our sights. He's a little far away, but you could hit him still. And we've got the weaponry to hit him. Ooh, we... Definitely just killed him. <laughs> that was one of those dumb fire missiles, folks. I know it's hard to see and hard to hear. They don't have those uh, sounds in the game 100% yet. They will be in there soon. 
I don't think that the Mustang is a, game, a ship that you'll see in Squadron 42, so it's not a priority. But it is, like I said, one of the most fun ships I've ever flown in the game so far. Um, I'd say clear... Ooh, that scavenger took us right out. As I'm talking, not aware. Looks like the uh, guy in a 325A left us. Losing a ship that early for me is definitely going to be a problem. Alright, let's get in there. They got him. Good. How are we doing now? 14 and 37. He's more than doubled us. Torp is doing a great job. Now, the, the Super Hornet, I am not going to say it's not a better ship. It's definitely a better ship than the Mustang. What we're talking about is fun here. The, the, the Super Hornet and the Hornet are trained killers, right? It's like bringing a uh, gun to a knife fight. <laughs> you are going to totally decimate most people in the early rounds in this game, or most of the competition in the early rounds in, well, any of these. If your competition, or the, not competition, if the people that you're flying with are the uh, Mustang Flyers and the 325As, you just have so much more power so much more firepower and so much more armor shields that you're gonna be able to do a much better job later on the better pilot is gonna win regardless all right we've got problems and I think those problems have to do with that hit we took before okay so we're getting into wave nine all right so we did fly back and forward All right. Well, we got a Vandal Hunter. All right. So I'm going to let Torp get the... Uh, I believe in this one is uh, Bloodhound. We'll see in a second. Well, there go all the missiles. Like, they should be going off in this round. And Vandal Hunter killed... Oh, we're in wave 10, so he did it in the last round. I'm one round behind everybody. It's all that talking I'm doing, and uh, lots of lag from every kill that we get in this game. Well, we got one long distance kill there. Let's see if we can get another one. We don't want to fire on our friend there. Yeah, that was it. Did you see it? That was a kill with our... Uh, at least I think it was my kill. He might have been killed just before I shot off the uh, missile that I did. The uh, dumpfire missiles. Alright. Now we're in wave 11. Eight more to... Well, seven more to go after this. So eight total rounds to go. Let's get in here. Alrighty, Tarp is doing a great job. I'm lucky I'm flying with this guy. I might actually see the elite round at the end. Okay, I got my guy. Alright. Ooh, we had him almost lined up for a perfect shot there. I was trying to line him up for one of these. Yeah, we got him. Let's see, you could look backwards. That's what was going on there. All right. Ooh, Torp does not look good. <laughs> He's a flying wing right now. All right, so if you're looking up there underneath where it says wave 12... Noctu is telling us that the Crimson, the person in the 325A has actually disappeared from us. All right, no. Round 12? 
Payday. Mm. Torp is still is all the way out there already. Let's see if he can get through this. And Payday's been hit by a bunch of missiles. A bunch more missiles. Well, no, he's just getting pummeled. Good job, Torp. Good job, Nikki. <laughs> that girl is in the house. Let's find this guy over here. He's closer. We can do some wicked maneuvering to get our guns on him. We got him. Good. Let's go and get this guy. And we're going to do some wicked maneuvering again. Oh, he is dust. Good job. Not me, whoever took him out. Alright. Yep, he's dead. Okay, I got the easy one that was drifting off into the nether. Alright, so we've got some issues with our ship right now. Looks like we took some damage. Not seeing it. I'm going to go flying back. Where are they? There they are. And we should get there a little bit before the other Mustang. And we should be pacing with that, actually going a little bit faster than that Hornet, because he only does 180. The fact that he's pulling away from us is kind of strange. I don't like all this lag that we're getting in this game. Great. All right, I'm used to flying with my group where we call which one we're on. There's a lot of wasted time in this one. All right, we've got this guy. There we go. And that should be the end of round 13. And if I didn't break 20, good, I broke 20. Torp is just tearing us up. Freaking awesome. And fly back the other way. There's Noctu. There's Torp doing exactly what you're supposed to do right after the last guy is dead. Fly directly towards the spire. It's got one. Alright, which one am I taking? Alright, I'll take Alpha 2. Alpha 2. Try to keep up the speed. Fire. Get his attention away from your... My guy. There we go. Broke him off. And then we kill the Alpha. Kill the Alpha. Kill the Alpha. Now we're on Hunter 1. Who's on his tail. Break him off. Distract him. Hopefully you are distracting him. And kill him. Good job. Good job. Let's go on Alpha. He's on our guys. Ooh. We had the Spire over there. We got the other Alpha. Okay, we got this guy. Good, Torp got him. Excellent, excellent. How am I doing now? Still not catching up. Holy cow. My ping is 57 now. Alright, that's good. We got through 15. And there's a rock coming at us. So here's Reaper. Reaper is one of the first ones that will give you trouble. He either goes down real quick or gives you a lot of pain. And the way that I mean that is if you take him on real fast, and I'm sure Torp is going to do that, you will take him out and he'll be fine. But if you give him an opportunity, he will just launch missile after missile right at you. See, we evaded his missiles. 
We got everybody firing at us right now. Ooh. Do we have any weapons left? We've got three weapons left. Alright, so where are we going? Oh. That was not a good fight, people. I do not like losing my second ship in wave 15. The problem there was the lag, lack of situational awareness, and that caused us to crash into one of the other guys. But you could see the lag that happens every time somebody gets blown up here. It is still a problem. I've got this guy in front of me, and now I can't target him. Okay, there we go. All right, last guy was in front of me, and I had a missile on me. Hmm. That's quite unusual. All right. So now we've got a whole bunch of alphas, which means we're going to have a whole bunch of missiles. So we're going to have issues with this round. Us two have died twice. That's not a good play for him. Or I should say we're not being good wingmen for Torp. We've got a guy right here. We got the first alpha, so we're gonna go around and see if we can get the next hunter over here. He was close to us before. Yaw into him over here. And we should be able to Take him out. Good job. Good job. What you want to do is take out the guys shooting at your guys. All right, good. We got the other alpha. And now this guy's coming right at us, so we want to bank away. Yaw into him. Oh my god. We are getting chewed alive here. Alright, so we are chewing him up too. Good, 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 good. Let's see if we can get this other guy. Come on, Torp, where are you? He's probably killing somebody else. Yeah, he was. All right, we got him. Okay, that was a good round for us. But we have a hurt vessel, and uh, one of our guns is going to start overheating. If you look on the damage display in the upper left-hand corner, we've got quite a number of systems that have been hit. But uh, usually this round isn't that big or that hard. Um, wave 18, wave 17, they give us a uh, shorter round normally. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the left and hopefully be able to dodge around these guys. My job here is to flank them and hopefully not get hit in the meantime. So at least one of them is down right now because we had that lag. And we got the guy in front of us. Oh! God, that's it. We're done. I don't even know how he killed us. Anyway, that's the Mustang for you. And it's a great, great, great ship. All right, folks, that's the end of that match. And as you see, I had a great time with it. In the end, it was the lag that killed me. And I found that it was not their server. It was actually my internet. Anyhow, I guess that's all for today. And today's video highlighting the Mustang Delta. Sorry it's not for sale. I asked Ben about that and uh, 
Not sure when they're going to put it up for sale again, but the Delta is a wonderful ship. And the next time one goes up for sale, you might want to see if you could rearrange some of your purchases to uh, melt a couple of ships if you want to to get it, or just buy it outright. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon.